ZEISS introduced uh, strategic projects and one of them is additive manufacturing. We recognize that Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the manufacturing demonstration facility at Knoxville, Tennessee, is the place where the knowledge about additive manufacturing, the depth of this knowledge about additive manufacturing, but also ability to collaborate with industry is the most optimum for enabling the uh, accelerated process of, of learning and enabling the solution. We do research in areas like additive manufacturing, composites, roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing, machining, and automation and robotics. The MDF was started in order to allow companies to come in and access the advanced manufacturing technologies that we were working on work with us and then spin off new businesses and new technologies from those activities that we were performing. The facility is set up in a way such that we have a multidisciplinary approach. We have experts from all different fields that'll work on a project together. What we then do is we come together as a team at ORNL and we really focus on solving industrial scale, very large scale scientific problems that U.S. industry is facing. Oak Ridge National Laboratory has extreme expertise on how to use additive manufacturing processes to make a good part. What was lacking on their side was a high level of characterization processes to prove that whatever they're creating is possible. Additive manufacturing is a really interesting technology in the fact that I can make modifications to the process and create all types of unique geometries using this process. One of the challenges though as you do this is it's a transient process, meaning that we're constantly changing the process parameters and the variables that go into the machines. A lot of the alloys and materials that we tend to use for a lot of applications are actually designed around the processes that are used to manufacture them. And that's true going back hundreds of years. So with additive manufacturing, that's pretty much the same thing, except we don't have those new materials yet. We're working on trying to design those. And so if we're designing new materials for these manufacturing processes to take advantage of new applications, we also have to be characterizing those materials to understand their structure and their properties and how they perform in those applications. You're taking materials that were developed for other processing methods and they're all applying them to additive manufacturing. So defects such as porosity and cracking, um, can lead to significant structural integrity issues within the parts that you must find before the part goes into service. And the only way to do that is through non-destructive evaluation techniques, which are still being developed for additive parts. When we actually go from a very small cube of processing parameter development to understand the material properties, the microstructure, the, the things that really determine how that uh, material functions, we try and take that and we actually put that into a component. That scale up into a complex geometry of those processing conditions are actually really, really challenging. And so what that means is we get a lot of uh, non-uniformity in the material properties, which makes it really hard to predict the performance of end components. The collaboration with Zeiss will be very helpful because we'll be able to uh, look at a whole bunch of different characterization techniques to understand the material behavior and the variation and see how we can improve the printing process based on that feedback. Experts at Oak Ridge National Lab are interested in designing better than before or designing newer features than before or printing faster without any defects. And Zeiss Characterization Center at Oak Ridge National Lab allows them to actually instantaneously change their parameters, design new alloys by using some of the microscopy and quality qualification technology. Zeiss over the years has developed a lot of unique capabilities that have been used and implemented in other fields that now have the ability with the challenges of AM to be utilized here, such as software tools, data analytics, and also high throughput techniques. With Zeiss, we have a lot of different characterization capabilities, starting from CMM to light microscopy to X-ray and electron microscopy technologies. Once we use all these technologies, what it allows us to do is characterize the parts from say raw material like powders all the way to the finished part, look for defects and dimensionality uh, of the final finished part, which allows for holistic characterization of the entire additive manufacturing process. The problem is that the kind of iteration loop that we have to do to try out a new alloy or a new material and then understand whether it was any good or not requires us to first make some kind of decision about 
what the chemistry of that material should be. So we're working with Zeiss to be able to design new design of experiments and characterization techniques to increase the throughput of that process so we can rapidly optimize the process characteristics. And that's something that used to take maybe months and we've been able to reduce that down to just one or two days. So prior to having Zeiss in our facility, we would have about three times as long of a wait to get the data back. The Zeiss capability allows us to rapidly go through, analyze those samples. We can look at what we've, we've formed during the process. We can then do rapid innovation on the process such that we can do many, many design iterations in a much, much shorter time frame. And, and that really allows innovation at a, at a completely different level than I think anything that we've seen to date.